Uh, this video shows new options in the version 11 grid for formatting uh, summary values in the grid. So we have a grid here that has a summary value that is showing the total of the uh, quantity field and in version 11 you could not uh, format the, um, this value. It, uh, you, you had no control over the, uh, the style that was used unless you wrote custom code in the on summary section render event but now you can see we're uh, displaying it in green over here um, and we've actually defined a uh, conditional rule that says that if the uh, total is less than 10 then we're going to display it in red so if I go here for example and type in some search criteria um, that results in a quantity that's uh, between uh, 11 and I think 20 we use blue if it's above 20 we use green and if it's below uh, 10 we use red so let's tr go and try and find one a search criteria that will result in a value that's less than um, that's less than 10 uh, not having much luck here so let's uh, pause so here when we do a search for invoice number 9 the total is 7 which is less than 10 so it shows up in red. So let's take a look at how we uh, how we did that. So first when we go to fields now you can see that when we go to the quantity field now and we go to the summary values there's a new property now which is the inline style and you can see here that the inline style for this field has just simply been set to bold. So, so now um, if we hadn't written an event handler then those summary values would have all have been bold but there's also now a new event called the before summary section render event and uh, this event gets passed um, inside the e, um, uh, object that is passed in the summary values uh, that were calculated so for example this field that we did the calculation one is called quantity so therefore what got passed in was E dot summary values dot quantity and then the count them and the max etc. So all the summary values were passed in inside E dot summary value and then uh, also that passed in was uh, E dot summary style uh, which contains the uh, style uh, that was defined over here. This um, uh, this is the inline style. So that style also got passed in as well. And then you can see in our event handler code we're saying that if the quantity is less than 10 then set the style to whatever the style was before so we're using the uh, combined CSS function and then add into that style color red and if it's between 10 and 20 we're adding in color blue and then if it's uh, between um, uh, I guess above above 20 then we're adding in color green to the style so this um, A5 combined CSS is going to preserve whatever style was defined which in this case was just simply bold and text align right and then we're adding in color red so that um, the final style that's applied is bold text align right and then also color red so uh, the ability to define a uh, before summary section render event and dynamically alter the inline styles for the summary values is very powerful because now your your totals and averages and all of your summary values uh, can be uh, styled conditionally uh, based on the data in the grid. Thank you very much.